Hi everyone, I'm Ricky from Tech Talk and today we're unboxing and taking our first look at the Vodafone Smart N9 device from Vodafone. On the front of the box it's actually covered up by a sticker but if we turn to the side you're going to get a bit more information here. So on the side here we have a built-in fingerprint sensor, you have a 5.5 inch screen which gives you more screen and less frame which is going to be really good to check out. You have a HD screen resolution built into this device. It also has a 13 megapixel rear camera and an 8 megapixel front facing camera for selfies. You've got Android 8.1 which is Oreo. It also has the smart safety features which is a great option which I will go through later on and it has 2,900 millionth hour battery, 4G high internet speeds that we know from Vodafone. Then on the back you have content but there's no need to talk about that as we're going to actually unbox it now. It also has won a design award for 2018 which is fantastic to see. So taking this out, the first thing you're going to see is our phone. So it has a white front, and then at the back it has a nice silver design, again shimmer and shine to that. And this is silver aluminium, and then they also do black titanium, so you've got two different choices in colour. Paperwork wise, we've got our quick start guide here from Vodafone, very quick and easy one just to fly through there if you need any information. Then you have your safety and warranty information as well. Lifting this up, you will see here you have your SIM tool to insert your SIM. This is a nano sized SIM card. So you've got a European plug here in the UK. Okay, you're going to get a three pin plug this is a review model under that you will find your cable for syncing and charging this is micro usb and also you have your headset there as well so moving on to our device you can see here we have a very large display and that's great to see and that is a 5.5 inch display let's boot it on to start off with at the top there you've got your cameras you do have chins at the top and the bottom you do have very thin borders though around the outer edge which is really good to see coming around to the back you can see a built-in fingerprint sensor here is your third 13 megapixel camera on the rear and you have a flash underneath. Coming back around to the front so you have your camera on the front and then you have sensors as well built in. Then we move on into our setup process and we're going to go through the setup process now. A couple of things I want to highlight here. If you go into visual settings you have a whole wide range of settings that you can change and adjust here straight away for accessibility. So hello and we've got English United Kingdom. So connect to a Wi-Fi network so simply find your Wi-Fi network and insert your password. So you can copy apps and data if you have backups on the Google services you can use a backup if not you can start as new or start as new then it's going to ask you to sign into a Google account or create one so you can use all the apps games movies TV shows and all other Google services so sign into your Google account here then with this device it offers extra security thanks to fingerprint sensor built into the rear and in an ideal location as well it's where your natural hand position is going to be so we're going to set up a fingerprint sensor so you have screen lock as well so you need to add a secondary option so you have pattern pin or password and then you turn your device around and you locate that fingerprint sensor so it's saying about touching the sensor so we're going to touch the sensor okay so our fingerprint is all set up and ready to go then you can set up google assistant if you want to set up google assistant so next to so google services here the only one i turn off is backup the rest of them you can all keep on you can keep backup on if you so wish to moving down you have anything else this is where you can add email accounts control information or the lock screen options i'm going to say no thank you experience improvements yes i always keep this on then you have additional features so this is where you can get some more help if you need more help or you can use and safety security options built in here for child or a relative which is really good now moving on you've got additional settings so inside here you can change some settings you've got simple notification you have a mute switch helpful tips adjust text size which we've already done and then one other one is adjust display size as well so it's really nice to see the accessibility options in there I'm going to put all set and then you've got the Vodafone splash screen here again just tick this then to finish off it's just saying that the battery is non-removable so now our device is all set up let's have a quick look around so bringing it down from the top you can see our notification area again it's running android 8.1 so if you're used to android you're going to know all the motions here so you have your app drawer there or you can even swipe up as well to get into your app drawer so swipe into the far left if we go into it you can set up your favorite application you've got google in the middle you touch and hold to get to google which is really good let's lock our device and let's try the fingerprint sensor yeah that seems to be working okay that seems to be 
working good. Then obviously if you don't use a fingerprint sensor, you then have your pattern to get into your device as well. Simple pattern, you're open, you're in, and you're straight away. So looking around our device down the side here, you've got your volume rockers, you've got your power switch, which is a different texture, which is great to see. Coming down to the bottom, you've got a speaker and then your microphone grills. So the same with the Vodafone Smart N9, you can enjoy your favorite apps on a 5.5 inch HD plus screen, secure your personal data with a fingerprint sensor and experience seamless interactions with the latest Android Oreo operating system. The Smart N9 packs the latest technology in a stylish design with an impressively thin bezel. Make your memories last. The Vodafone Smart N9 boasts a 13 megapixel rear camera and a wide angled front camera paired with practical modes and editing functions. Weight wise, it weighs 145 grams. Thickness is 8.7 millimeters thick. Inside is 16 gigabytes of onboard storage. You have a micro SD card option up to 32 gigabytes as well. The resolution of the display is 1440 by 720. That'll give you a pixel density of 293. It has two gigabytes of of RAM it has a quad core processor, which is a 1.3 Cortex A53, has a Mali GPU built inside. So, the Vodafone Smart N9 looks good. We're looking forward to testing it out. There will be loads of videos from me, also, there'll be some comparisons. But if you have any questions or queries or any videos you'd like to see, please drop a comment down below. Please give the video a thumbs up as it is great. Vodafone offered this to me. There will be a link in the description to Vodafone UK as well, so you can get further information from me, Ricky. Thanks always for watching. I'll see you very soon. Bye for now.